Yo, what is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another video for y'all. Now, in today's video, um, this is the same day as the Getting My Car Tuned upload. I'm just now getting in the car. The tune is all wrapped up. Um, if you guys missed that episode, make sure you guys go tap in. But this is going to be the first drive. I'm hella hyped to see how different it feels. Um, the shifts are definitely more aggressive tell you that they're definitely way more aggressive um but yeah finna get on the road so let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into the first couple of pools man let's get it Still got the pops, still got the pops, man. 
car feels hella healthy is what I'm trying to get at. My bad, yo. At last words. It's nothing, like, it's nothing crazy, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, one thing I can say is it's nothing crazy. I haven't really gotten a chance to, you know, stretch the legs, legs fully. Like, you know what I mean? Um, but she definitely feels solid, bro. Like, Definitely feel solid, bro. I'm gonna keep it above with y'all. Do another little fourth gig, uh, 20, 40 roll real quick. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a lot, a lot more responsive. Uh, to give it a buck with y'all. Ooh, there go the popo. Hopefully they don't fuck with us. It's a good thing, I, bro. What the fuck, bro? I didn't even like it. Didn't even set in until right now. It's a good thing I wasn't doing a pull. <laughs> what? Cause like the, the, when I saw him, the first thing I thought about is, oh shit, I got my lights on red. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they don't fuck with us on that. But I completely forgot that like I was just butt smacking and, and go to jail speeds. Earlier, look, they go another one. Damn, let me turn these motherfucking lights on for this. They got too many police around here. I don't like this. But yeah, man, y'all are getting my raw reaction, man. I haven't stopped the camera yet. It's just rolling. Um, and we going, man. We going. This is crazy. It's. I ain't gonna cap. It's not. It's not the fastest thing in the world. You know what I mean? And it's not the biggest difference to me personally. Um, from where that was already at, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. Um, but it definitely does feel healthy and responsive, and that's you know what you really want in a daily driver um, to make sure your car is running straight um, and ain't tweaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down for right now. Um, focus on heading to the crib, and I'll pick up the camera again on the freeway or something when I can really stretch out the legs and stuff like that. But I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. All right, guys, you do know what I'm saying? So it is now currently the next day. Um, I've lived with Mamba for about 24 hours. I used a full tank of gas already, um, <laughs> which is crazy, but Matt's shop is about 45 minutes away from the crib. And then I also had to go to school. It's been, it, it was a long day yesterday. Um, so, anyway, going back into like my first initial review, um, and then, you know, how it's been throughout the day. Um, so, you know what I mean? The car only made 390 and 410 torque, you know? So, it's not stupid fast, it's not like, scary fast or anything like that it's nothing crazy you know what i mean it's it's you know it's it's a bolt-on car you feel me uh, l99 so it ain't nothing crazy nothing you know wild or anything but i will say the car does feel healthy as hell it definitely gets up and goes and there's no uh there's no play in the throttle anymore like before um, whenever I would like downshift to get the uh, backfires and stuff like that that you guys heard in the first drive whenever I did the cat delete video and you guys may have heard in this video as well um, whenever I downshift there's like a nice little sweet spot right at the beginning of the, the throttle like right at the top um, and if you hit it you blip it a little bit it you know causes the backfire now with the tune there's no like sweet spot there's no like soft spot or nothing like it's just it's all throttle so it's all gas so no matter how much like how lightly you touch it like you're going now there is there is something that i will say about the tune and this car is hella close to me bro um that i will say about the tune that's kind of you know kind of has me on edge on the fence a little bit um when i'm driving there's like the shifts are so like aggressive like i was saying that yesterday um when i was doing a couple pulls and it was like the shifts were 
a little too aggressive, if you if you will. It kind of feels like an Inventador um, is what I've been like. To, like the only thing that I can kind of relate it with is, is the Inventador as far as how aggressive it feels. Um, it's it's actually like it actually got to the point where I was a little worried, so I hit up the tuner. You know, I hit up Matt's crew um, to see what's going on. And I'll go ahead and put that conversation on the screen right here. So basically, they're saying that it might be some sort of value that Matt might have overlooked or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, because, as you guys know, if you guys have been here for a while, I got the car from CarMax and like two weeks into ownership, the transmission literally took a dump on itself. Basically, what happened was the torque converter actually blew up within the transmission and sent metal fragments all through out the clutches and the gears and destroyed the gears and it, it was all bad. So they ended up, you know, chaining it to Chevy and I got a new transmission and a new clutch installed. Um, factory OEM, nothing crazy, no upgrades or anything like that. It's just factory trans. So they were thinking that maybe, you know, it could be the converter going now, but that's impossible because it's brand new. So with that being said, um, I actually have to go back up to Matt's shop sometime this week um, or next week because next weekend I actually will be in Dallas for Demonology's event. Um, the YouTube showdown, YouTube call out, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, I actually will be out there in Dallas for that event. Um, and I'm parking my car VIP. So it will be up in the front. Um, I will get there a little late. I'm not going to cap, but I'll be there for the main event. I got work and I'm leaving right after work and I'll go out there. Also spending the night out there. So I'll be out there in Dallas um, probably all of Sunday until like Sunday evening. Uh, so you know what I mean? Y'all let me know what kind of meets are going down, going down out there uh, after Demonology's meet, you know what I'm saying? Or who knows, you know, I might post a little pop on me. And as you see, as you saw, as you guys saw that little jerk, that was the car shifting, you feel me? And so it's like, I don't know, it's like too aggressive to the point where I just felt like they needed to take a look at it and just make sure everything's straight because I'm not finna have another transmission blow or converter blow or whatever the case may be because that warranty that I had is definitely gone now. <laughs> so with all that being said, man, that's actually going to do it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you drop a comment in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up, man. We finally got the car tuned by Matt, you know, Houston sauce maker, you feel me? Uh, finally got it tuned. I'm definitely going to end up going to the drag strip. I want to go this weekend. I might go. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, just because the transmission and the shifts. I don't want, you know, if something is wrong, I don't want to go to the track and beat on it and then drive it all the way back home and make it worse. So, with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead 